Hi everyone, Quids here. In this Inkscape tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to draw paths. So let's get Inkscape open. We want to scroll in a bit first, so hold down Control and use the mouse wheel. You see down there, that's got your percentage of zoom, so 99% there. And you can use the mouse wheel to scroll around normally. Anyway, we'll take the tool here, <coughs> draw beza curves and straight lines. So if we compare it to games, they draw with polygon points to create curves. So that's a similar principle to that. And the more polygon points you put in, the smoother the curve is. Nothing like that. But in Inkscape, you draw with node points and handles. The node points are the start and end of the line. So you click, then right click to finish the line off. And handles, we get them by doing this. Edit paths by nodes, and then you drag the line. And that creates a curve. So the handles are these. And they represent what the curve is going to do. And you can edit those, move it around, and create different shape curves. Right. So let's go and draw something. So in this example I'll draw a point glass. So you draw a node point there. Have one there to do the rim, and then we want to go back on itself, but first we need to snap nodes or handles and snap to cusp nodes. So you right click back at the starting point. Now draw the side of the glass. So you draw a line there, down to about there, there, and then back to there. Now we edit the line, so let's create the rim first. So click the line, now you drag it, and just drag one down and one up. There. But I don't really like where that's ended up, so let's edit these handles and create a better shape out of it. I don't know what that node is either, so let's move that in place. There. So now we'll want to add a couple of nodes on the line. So double click it, and double click again where you want to add the node. Double click and double click. We can stretch the line out there. It's getting close. I think we need curved corners on the glass. So if we zoom in a bit, we'll create a couple of new nodes near the corner. And double click, double click. Now we delete the node we created earlier. So you click on it and then press delete on the keyboard. Like that. Stretch line. So you make it a curved edge. Now I've got a sort of point glass. Easy as that. Anyway, select it all and press delete. So I'll show you another way you could draw lines on this. If you hold down the left mouse button, it draws the handle first. Then let go. And you end up with a curved line. So I can click it again. Once that adds a node, and drag it, and add the node. You can end up with some right weird shapes doing this. And back on itself. Yeah, weird. Let's have a look at the different node types you can get. We'll zoom in on here. What have I done at this point? Oh, I see. All right. So the node types you can have are smooth, so that's defaulted to being smooth there. So you move the handles and both of them move at the same time. So to get that, you press Shift and S on the keyboard. It's already that. 
we could have symmetric, so go shift and Y. So now both handles are the same length. And also move with each other. Or well, to move one handle at a time, press shift C to make it a cusp node. And if you want to get rid of the handle or the curve altogether, you press Ctrl and then click on it, left click. It gets rid of it entirely. It goes back to a straight line. Okay. So if you want to break the path, click on the node and press Shift B. Now they're broken apart. Or to put them back near each other, let's drag them into shape. So it's cusp node to cusp node. Now if you want a different stroke style on there, or different line style, you press Control, Shift and F. It brings up this box. So you can choose a colour. Very nice. The opacity level. Make it near transparent. Or we can have different styles. They have a different size line. Not anything you want there. Yep. Dashes. Different caps for the end of the line. So zoom in on that so you can see. Right. And the other part of this video in this video I'll show you is the Inkscape preferences. So you get that, you get control, shift, and P. So choose a pen tool. You can go for last U style or do the same stand standard style each time. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial video on Inkscape. I'll be doing some more tutorials over the next couple of weeks. So please thumbs up and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments box below. Now take care and I'll see you later.